this is this in this communist of the family you fold me is in the study this in this class okay. today we shall study you fold me is the family with an example of resinous communist commonly called cast of land and uh, this plant is a perennial shrub but actually it's a commercial crop and the castor oil is extracted from this plant and uh, one highly toxic uh, chemical is also extracted from this is called ricin ricin is the deadliest poison that is produced from this plant resinous communis the plant has got uh, a woody stem which is circular which is woody cylindrical and uh, the leaf is uh, a compound leaf a compound leaf with reticulate venation and it's a divergent uh, multicastate divergent reticulate venation and that is the type of leaf we have and uh, one important feature of the leaf is there are two uh, glands oil glands at the base of the petiole and each lobe has got an acute apex and the margin is serrate the inflorescence in this case is a terminal panicle sign we have unisexual flowers and the flowers we have two different male flowers and female flowers and the male flowers are at the basal region and the female flowers are there in the upper region the inflorescence has got the female flowers these are the female flowers which will become the fruits and the male flowers are at the base panicle cymos inflorescence you can see the upper uh, flowers are female flowers they have already become uh, fruits after pollination fertilization the basal flowers are male so you have a male basal flowers and uh, female flowers at the top that is unique feature of this inflorescence and uh, the male flowers will have branched stamens the stamens are branched you can see the stamens are branched the female flowers will have branched stigma branched stigma in the female flowers and uh, branched stamens in the male flowers that is another important feature of this family euphorbiac and this plant resinous communis the flowers are archiclamidious in this case homoclamidious and more interestingly monoclamidious because there is only one whorl we don't have two whorls normally we have calyx and corolla and there is no difference between calyx and corolla here we have only perian tepals are there that also is one whorl so it is monoclamidious homoclamidious and archiclamidious that is another important feature of this family euphorbiac the fruits in this case are having spiny outer coating and it's a schizocarp it breaks into three mericorps so fruit is a dicent schizocarp watching my videos please like share and subscribe we'll meet again in the next video with some other topic thank you very much